Hey, welcome back. Many of my videos from a few months ago talked about a couple of plugins that I used a lot, which were PNG to JPEG and images to WebP. And there's loads of WebP plugins out there and there's loads of optimization image tools as well. Smush, you know, Smart Pixel, you know, uh, Tiny PNG, all of those. I loved all of them, okay? And some of them were my favorites more than others. However, I've now come to the realization that if I want to save having additional plugins on my website, like uh, the two I just mentioned, and I want to kind of get everything to a WebP format from the off before I even load it into my WordPress website, I don't need to use them. I can use a website called bulkresizephotos.com. You're not going to believe how good this is. And I've been using it now on the last four or five websites we've worked on. And I am absolutely in awe of what it does and how it operates, okay? Basically, like I said, I no longer have to have additional plugins. I'm not paying for additional plugins. This is totally free. And this is going to take big, hefty images, okay, and compress them and optimize them down to the WebP format. Let me show you what I'm talking about. I have over here, if I go to my folder, I've got 10 images that I've taken off Canva. They are 1920 by 1080, okay? Um, and you can see there the range, 2.6 megabytes, 3.3, 4.1 megabytes, okay? In total, these images, and I've made a note of it here, come to 31.4 megabytes in size, 10 images. That's a lot of megabyte usage. And because they're PNG, they're gonna be high quality. You stick that into your WordPress website and you start sticking them on your page before you've optimized, you're gonna pull down your page speed insight scores and things are gonna be slow to load, which you don't want. So here's how you need to use bulk size, bulk resize photos.com. By the way, I'm Imran Web Squad and I hope you like, subscribe, share and follow because I love helping you out with Elementor and WordPress. So what you do, dead easy, is you take the images, right? You just drop them in. Now here's what's really good about this. There are other websites out there like tinypng, compressjpeg.com. They will compress up to 20 images at a time. But what they won't do is compress it from a PNG straight down to a WebP. You've got to go through various stages. Well, I've just dropped in 10 images. I used this the other day with 52 images. It did it just like that. Well, when I say just like that, it took about 10, 15 seconds, but it was just like that as far as I'm concerned in a parallel universe. That's really quick. Now, I've dropped those 10 images in. I'm going to convert them, look, to WebP. I can select WebP. I'm gonna leave the image quality to 80%. I'm not gonna mess around with that and I'm gonna hit start. Just watch how quick this is, okay? It's already downloaded it to my downloads folder as well. I don't have to download it. That's another thing with TinyPNG. It compresses it and then you have to hit download. This has done it and downloaded it. We've gone from 31.4 megabytes to 556 kilobytes. Now, just to explain what that is, we have now gone down Okay, just to put your head, get your head into gear on this, we've gone down to just under 2% of the actual file size. Just get your head around that, okay? We are now 2% of the 31.4 megabytes. Let me just show you the images. Okay, so there's the original images. There's the folder. Let's unzip it. And now let's expand on that and just zoom up there. So look, 47 kilobytes, 51 kilobytes. These images are now you know, like two, less than 2% of what they originally were. But how does that affect the quality? Not much at all. There is a little bit of a difference, but not much at all. Take this image here. This is 2.6 kilobytes. We have an image there taken from Canva. That's looking okay. Let's just close that down. Now let's open up the compressed image from uh, bulk resize photos. Okay, let me just expand on it there. Again, that is looking really good. Now I can tell you after studying this, there is a drop of quality in the hair strands because I started staring at the hair strands and you can see it is not as sharp. However, that is still a good image for me. But what happens when you put that onto Elemental? Let me show you. So let me just shrink myself down to a tiny little person over it. No, in fact, I can put myself over here. Aha, here I am. So this image here is the original 2.6 megabytes PNG. I've only put the double O's there just because it makes a good comparison to the next one below. But that's 2.6 megabytes PNG. Okay, let me just uh, get rid of this bit here. Look at the quality of that. Can you see the hairline and the strands? 
Not sure how it's going to come across on YouTube, but I hope it's okay. That's looking pretty good. The image down here, and you can see the strands there. In fact, we'll just do that bit there. This now is 0 0.047 megabytes. It's 47 kilobytes, but can you see now the size difference? We've gone from 2.6 to 0 0.047 of a megabyte WebP. The quality of this, can you see the strands here? They are not any way as sharp as those strands. I hope in, when you're looking at this in 1080p uh, on uh, YouTube, you can, you can tell that. But the quality, if you weren't so bothered about that, that's really, really good. And I just want to, again, just, you know, get you to understand. We've gone from 31 megabytes, 31 and a half, to half a megabyte for 10 images, WebP format, and it was totally, totally free. And because WordPress since 5.8 allows you to add images in to WordPress at WebP format, you don't have to add in the PNGs or the JPEGs. I just take the WebP images from my download folder and drop them into WordPress. Job done. So I've saved myself two plugins and I've saved myself doing like stage batch image compression because tiny PNG and other areas I had to do 20 at a time. And when I had one client with over 200 images, you know, you do it, download, do it, download. I just drop them all in and it does it. And this for me is a fantastic, more efficient way of compressing images well, wow, extra plugins and it is free. Hey, look, I hope you like that. I hope you share, subscribe and follow. Let your other friends and family and people you're going to write a Christmas card to know about this. Okay, but look, take care and I'll see you soon.